adjust your screens, though. Do not adjust your ears. That's right. The six finger freakers always are tipping the top of the table over the championship. Of course, after a midweek win over Norwich, bloody city. Of course, but one of those ugly, disgusting looking bastards still be tipping the top of the table this coming weekend as we enter Halloween. Of course, we'll take a look at that. And more. Oh, no. I'm from Burnley, me. That's right, folks, bounce going on a prediction video today with a 4 match day number 18, I think, over the championship. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you know where you've been, smash your subscribe button, bang, to all things Rovers related, championship related, World Cup related, later this year. That's right, Burnley tip at the top of the table, 32 points on the board. QPR in second spot. Of course, the mighty blue and white are sitting in third spot. We're okay about that, guys. Of course we are. But of course, it could all change this weekend as, of course, some big games are coming at you all the way through this Halloween weekend. Who's going to be in for the scares and who's going to be in for the spoils of course we'll take a look at it all of it in a second of course people chat about vips they are the patrons you know who you are but let's get into it of course and crack on with the games that's right of course over in the championship so here uh, we go recapping the actual weekend's games of course i'll go over the other ones doesn't really care but of course uh let's get all that shit sorted out blackpool 4-2 win over preston off and 2-1 win for me burnley shit the bed against Bur uh, i mean uh, sonna shit the bed against burnley tony let me down 4-2 what it was in the end rovers 2-1 win over burnley I'm happy with that. A uh, bit of Borough and Huddersfield near near with the end. 2 1 win for me. Get the shit on that one as well. Millwall 2 1 win over West Brom, who look like they're getting Carlos Cobberhan as the manager there. That's a good appointment, I think. Reading uh, 2 0 win over Bristol City. I went the other way. QPR 2 1 win over Wigan. I'm over 3 1. Not too shabby. Uh, Rotherham got stuffed by uh, Hull City 4 2 in the end. Uh, the Blades and the Canaries do it up to a 2 2 draw. Got that one bang on the nose. Stoke lost to Coventry. Big result for them as well. Watford 4 0 win over Luton Town. I went with a 2 1 win. And of course, Swansea 2 0 win over Cardiff City. That's right. In the well, Stabby. That's of course is what the table did. Uh, does look like right now. Burnley beat Norwich 1 0. Of course, Rodriguez penalty. And I think Rotherham and Coventry duked out to 2 2. So that's where we are right now after the midweek games, of course. So Burnley leading that, leading the charge here. Of course, QPR in second spot. Rovers in third. Swansea Sheffield United. And then Millwall uh, going down. Coventry, West Brom, and Huddersfield. Coventry, of course, got uh, two or three games. Games and then still, uh, they could easily climb that table and uh, on the same. But you've got to get the points of the board first. What about, what about this? What about this? We are taking a look at the championship. Super Brew, Super Brew, Super Brew. I'm not doing, I'm not, I'm doing pretty terrible, it looks like, on the old Super Brew right now. Uh, of course, Bernie K.E. tops the charts with 22 points. Well done to him, uh, begrudgingly. Uh, Alex Wells up there with 19.5. Russell's up there with 18 as well. Dirky Boy is down there with 12 points, of course. Not great. If you see your name, smash your your thumbs up if you see your name smash your subscribe that's the rules around here uh, of course i'm down at 14th in the real world it's not a great move uh, again you can't really see it oh bloody get to grip get a grip but of course you can always check it out yourself if you are predicting you can check out the super brew table yourself but uh i don't really want to see it myself anyway because i'm struggling i'm struggling to see where we are but of course get involved get your EF, our champ get your picks in of course because it is halloween weekend where we're full of scares and surprises of course as we look at the games right here right now which all kick off actually this coming friday uh birmingham gets qpr over at st andrews of course who's gonna be in for the trick who's gonna be in for the treat of course birmingham qpr played each 30 times in 1996 guess this Get this. 10 wins apiece and 10 draws. Cannot be separated, of course. Birmingham, though, 50% form for them right now. 1 2 lost to and drawn to over the last six. QBR, they're winning five of the last six. 83% form for them at the moment. Last time around, they're over at St. Andrews. There's a 2 1 win for QBR back in January 2022. QBR picking up a, uh, a 2 1 win over Wigan. Birmingham, though, losing to Rovers most recently. But of course, the odds here 20 to 9, 20 to, 29 to 20 on is your Birmingham. 90 to 10 is your way. With 11 to 5 is the draw. I'm going to go with an actual draw here. Point of peace. Uh, Birmingham were decent against Rovers. A little bit unlucky not to get anything out of the game but uh you've got to ride that luck while you got it of course meanwhile bristol city up against swansea of course who are flying at the table of course played to the 19 times done three seven wins for bristol city six wins for swansea six draws of course bristol city they're winning two of the last six 42 percent form for them right now and because the swansea side of course uh 83 percent form for them right now winning five of the last six last time around though over at bristol city was a one win for swansea back in august 2021 uh swansea of course two wins of the last uh what we're looking at actually just one defeat past six against bristol city of course swansea though two no win of a cardiff bristol city though 
lost to Reading, of course, at the Bajeski this past weekend. But the odds here, we have Bristol City 5 to 4 for the victory, 25 to 12 to 10 is the away win. Uh, I'm going with Swansea here. They look good right now. 2 to win for them, of course. Uh, they're flicking it up around and they're, they're banging. They go back in the back. back. West Brom and Chabin up against Sheffield United. Of course, coming out at the Hawthorns. Carlos Coverhand could be in charge for this game up against uh, Sheffield United, of course, who have had a bit of a rough skid themselves. Pitch of the 29 9, 29 times in 1984. 15 wins for West Brom, 11 wins for Sheffield United. Three draws, of course. Of course, the Baggies, 25% form for them. One win in six. I guess Sheffield United side with, with, who haven't won in the last six games. Of course, that's the round that at the Hawthorns. It was a one nil win for West Brom. That was back in August 2022. That was in the EFL Cup this season, of course. Uh, last time picture that over at the Hawthorns, though, in the championship was a 4 0 win for the Baggies way back in August 2021. The Blades with the 2 2 draw against Norwich, of course. West Brom with the 2 1 loss against Millwall, of course. But the odds here, 13 to 10 is your West Brom. 11 to 5 is draw, 12 to 10 is the away win here. I'm going to go with a 0 0 draw on this one. It could be a 1 0 win for West Brom. New manager about Sheffield United, though. Need a result and I need one fast. Cardiff City up against Rotherham United over in Wales. Now, these two sides that picture 13 times, 2 3. 6 wins to Cardiff, 2 for Rotherham, 5 draws, of course. Ro uh, Cardiff, though, 3 defeats on the spin, 42% form for them right now. They're getting closer to that drop zone. Rotherham, though, 50% form for them right now. 1-2, lost to and drawn to over the last six. Last time around, though, over in uh, Cardiff, it was a 1-1 draw back in May 2021. Uh, Cardiff picked up a 2 0 loss to the Swansea. Coventry with a 2-2 draw against uh, Rotherham uh, most recently. But the odds right here right now, we've got uh, we've got Cardiff 21-20 for the recently 14 5 is your way win. 11-5 is your I'm going to give it to Cardiff here. Back in number one, they win. Uh, they are pretty shit, though, uh, at the moment. Even though they beat Rovers, of course they did. Uh, but uh, struggling with a bit of form at the moment. Meanwhile, Coventry City up against Blackpool. Uh, of course, Coventry doing a OK form wise. Uh, coming into 67% uh, uh, form for them right now. Just one defeat past six. Up against the Blackpool side of 1-2, lost to and draw two over the last six. However, these two sides are pitched the 15 times. So 2007, five wins apiece and five draws. Uh, of course, last around though, over at the Rico was a 1-1 draw back in February 2022. That was in the championship as well. Blackpool with a big 4 2 win over Preston. Coventry with a big 2 2 draw this past midweek over Rotherham United. The odds here 11 10 is your Coventry, 5 2 is your away win. 9 4 is the draw here. Back in Coventry, they look good. Uh, the, 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 the situation at the table is fake. It's like Rovers being fake top three. Uh, Coventry are fake being bottom three. They should be much, much higher than that, of course. And I'm sure, I'm sure they, they will, none the same. Next, of course, it's them six finger freak as always. It is Burnley. Up against Reading, of course. Played 24 times in 1984. Five wins for Burnley, 13 wins for Reading. Six draws, of course. Burnley, though, unbeaten in the last. 15 games, goodness gracious me, up against the Reading side, just one win in five, and then 42% more for them at the moment. Of course, Burnley winning four of the last five. However, uh, last time played, uh, uh, these two sides played each other over at uh, Turd Moors back in September 2005. It was in the Championship, Reading with a 2 1 win indeed. Reading a 2 0 win over Bristol City, of course, Burnley with a 1 0 win over Norwich. Could pull it, do us a favour, uh, do us a favour that Tony Mowbray couldn't. Uh, of course, the odds right here right now for Burnley, 7 4 on for the Richie, 14 5 draw, 90 4 is their way. I mean, I'd love to see it, I really would, but I can't see it. I'm going to go with 3 0 demolition job Burnley at home uh, should be a no-brainer surely two uh, next up of course it's Huddersfield up against Millwall coming at you over at the John Smith's Kirklees McAlpine Stadium played 34 times since 1985 12 wins for Huddersfield 8 wins for Millwall 4 draws of course 1 win to 6 for Huddersfield right now 33% form for them up against the Millwall side unbeaten in the last 5 uh, winning 4 in the bounce 75% form for them at the moment last time around over at Huddersfield it was a 1-0 win for the visitors or the hosts sorry that was back in October 2021 Huddersfield pick up a new new draw against Middlesbrough Millwall with a big 2-1 win over West Brom of course however last time they were on the road, they also picked up a win. Uh, coming at you though, the odds right here right now. We've got Huddersfield 2 to 1 for the victory. 11 to 8 is your Millwall. 9 to 4 is the draw. Millwall are good right now. I'm going to give them a point here at the very least. Continuing their unbeaten run. Uh, of course, making a push for top six a reality. Uh, next up, of course, it's Hull City up against Blackburn Rovers. Of course, managerless Hull City, who I believe are going to keep Andy Dawson into 2023. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Blackpool, uh, Blackburn Rovers, of course, coming to this 67% form for them right now, winning four of the last five up against the Hull side. who won uh, three of the last, uh, actually, 50% form for them. One three, lost three over the last six. Back to back wins though for Hull coming into this. Um Played each other 15 times. Since 2008, four wins for Hull, eight for Rovers, three draws, of course. Last time we played each other over in Hull, it was a 2 0 win for Hull back in January 2022. Rovers, though, picking up a 2 1 win over Birmingham. Hull with a big 4 2 win over Rotherham on the road as well. The odds here uh, Hull, 31, 31 to 20. 23 10 is a draw, 70 to 10 is the away win, of course. I'm backing my boys, I've got to do it. 2 1 win for them on the road. 
And if they do win that, they could actually go as high as first in the table outright. But we'll see about that. Luton Town uh, need a response up against Ma uh, me old gaffer there, Tony Mowbray, over at Sunderland. Pleasure 11 times in 1993. Three wins to Luton, five wins to Sunderland, three draws. Of course, Luton, though, one defeat past six, 67% form for them right now. Sunderland, though, just one win and six, 33% form for them at the moment as well. Last round, though, over at Luton Town. It was a 1 1 draw back in August 2018. Uh, back to back draws, of course, both these sides uh, last season. Sunderland, though, 4 2 loss to Burnley. Luton with a big 4 0 loss to Watford, of course. A bit of a sting, and that was in a local derby. Uh, 2019 on is your Luton on this one. 23 10 is your 3 to 1 is your way win. If there's ever a time to play Luton, I've no, they, they just got spanked by what for their tails will be down, the confidence will be shot. Uh, of course, so big chance here for Tony Mobile to, to get one over Nathan Jones. He hasn't had much joy over Nathan Jones, uh, the last few seasons anyway. 2 1 win for Luton for me, though. I can't see him getting anything out of this game either. Uh, meanwhile, it is a Norwich. Uh, they take it on Stalk City, of course, over at um, Carrow Road. Now, these two sides, of course, it is the Alex Neal Derby. Uh, played each other, of course, 28 times in 1985. Nine wins to Norwich, 10 wins to Stoke, nine draws. Of course, Norwich over that win in the last six. Of course, 70% form for them right now. Of course, Stoke, though, 42% form for them, only twice in the last six games. Last time around, over at uh, Cattle Road, it was a 4 1 win for Norwich back in February 2021. Uh, Norwich unbeaten against uh, Stoke over the last couple of occasions. Of course, Stoke, though, losing to Coventry uh, back to back games now without a goal. Uh, Norwich with a 1 0 loss to Burnley, of course. Uh, but the odds here, basic odds, go in favour of Norwich. They are favoured to win this game. Uh, going to go with a 3-0 win for Norwich. Big win for myself. Statement result. And, of course, getting themselves back in the winning waves once again. Into the final two now. It's Preston North End. Up against Middlesbrough. Coming out at a deep day. I played it 20 times. And six, four was to Preston. Ten wins to Middlesbrough. And we've got six draws, of course. Preston, though, won three, lost three over the last six. 50% form for them right now. Middlesbrough, back-to-back -back games now. Unbeaten, 42% form for them. But it is a debut for Michael Carrick. New manager bounce, potentially. Last time around, though, over in Preston. It was a 4-1 win for the Novas back in May 2022. Preston, of course, back-to-back -back wins over Borough last season. They did uh, lose, though, to Blackpool most recently in the Northwest Derby, bit of a crutch clash that. Middlesbrough with a near neutral It's Huddersfield, of course, coming at you as well. 7 to 4 is your Preston, 7 to 4 is your Borough, 2 to 1 is your way win. Uh, going with the 1 0 with for Preston again, against the new manager bounce, and of course, a big response uh, for Preston after that stuffing uh, against Blackpool. And the same. We're getting up against Watford in the Battle of the W's, of course, over the DW as well. Played to 12 times, 2 and 3. 3 wins for Wigan, 3 for Watford, 6 draws, of course. Wigan, though, 1 win and 6, 70% form for them right now. Up against the Watford side, of course, 50% form for them right now. 1 3 and lost 3 over the last 6. Last the round over at the DW it was a 2 0 win for Watford back in March 2015. It's been a long, long time, guys. Uh, what we're looking at seven years and a chunk of change. Uh, meanwhile, the uh, Watford coming to this on the back of the 4 0 loss to uh, 4 0 win over Luton. We're going with a 2 1 loss against top of the table or table top table toppers or promotion chasing QPR. 2 to 1 is your win, 11 8 is your away win, and 9 to 4 is the draw. Back in the course, a 3 1 win for Watford. Of course, they've got the talent, they've got the manager. Can they get, of course, a bit of rhythm in their own uh, rockets? Of course, we'll see about that. That's, of course, my take for this week's uh, weekend action over in the championship uh, of course and if I'm right this is what the table will look like Burnley will be at the top of the table we cannot stop that but my brothers are squeaking in the top two we'll keep it down and low on that one keep you down at third we'll have Swansea Norwich and then Sheffield United uh, none the same of course but that is of course my take on it uh, Borough West Brom Huddersfield still going down in a very very spicy looking relegation race at the moment that's of course it make sure you check out the link here cut before it's EFL championship uh, of course it is Halloween uh, weekend and of course at the moment we do have some freaks sitting at the tip of the top of the table but we'll those freaks still remain at the tip of the top of the table this weekend. I'm talking about Burnley, that's right. Will they be there this weekend? Of course, after, uh, 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 you know, a, a, a top of the top of the rise, of course, over this past midweek. We'll see that and more. And, of course, we'll re-evaluate re re it all next week uh, after, of course, Halloween comes and goes. But, of course, keep your eye out there. You might see, uh, you might keep your eye out there. You might see some freakazoids coming at you from Burnley. Ooh, just like me. <laughs>